Welcome to my channel. Carlo Espostinibu deal with the US, France, UK over a COAS plan of military invasion in Niger Republic. Nigeria have many problems now and we don't want another one. Dollar to Naira is on an increase, but the government cannot do anything to solve this problem. You go to market today and you buy a cup of gari, 100 naira. By the time you go there next tomorrow or tomorrow, it will be 150. But the government have not explained any reason why things are going up and down like this. But they are quick to go to war with our neighboring country, Niger Republic. US is pushing Nigeria to go and destroy his own brother. They say that um, the president of ECOWAS have declared that ECOWAS service chiefs should move to war. And that is not my business. I'm still having my reservation that Nigeria should join the ECOWAS to go to war. Because if the Americans want to go to war, they should use their troops. They have almost 3,000, 4,000 troops there in Niger. They don't need to say, we will give you money, President Tinibu, we will give you arms, just go and fight. It is dangerous to fight in our backyard. You don't know where this fight will end. Nobody knows who is sponsoring this fight. I think the advisors of President Tinibu, which are most aware of them, will continue pleading on him not to join that fight. Since Nigerian Senate have already said, no, you can't go to war, and he needs authorization of the Senate to go to war. So, I, I, I don't think it's a good idea to go to war. What they should go to the junctas to do now to put a democratic, a democratic process plan. They should give us a plan for one year, six months, two years plan to return to the civil, civil democratic process. Since they said the president of Niger, President Busso, have already resigned. Now, let us take it like that. This thing happens once in a while. And then, I, I don't think any Nigerian soldier's head is good enough to be king for, for another country. It's not our war. It's an internal affairs. It's an internal problem of Niger people. I hope my president and my friend and my uh, brother will understand that this is not our war. We have nothing to fight those people for. I, I want him not to listen to the U.S. I'm a friend of the U.S., I'm a friend of Israel, I'm a friend of U.K. This is the first time I would like President Tinibu to disobey the U.S. It's not the right thing to do. We are not going to go to war. Let the U.S. and Nigeria and France have a transitional program for the, with the soldiers. They are, Niger, they, are, they, are, they, are Niger, they are Niger people. They are not outside from there. So let them plan transition in peaceful diplomacy, uh, agreements and all the rest of them, they, they should reach an agreement, concrete agreement to return to civil war. I'm not thinking they're going to war with Niger. One, they are our black brothers. Secondly, it is very dangerous. You don't know who will join the war. They might invade Nigeria. We already have a lot of uh, problems with the, uh, our minerals along those borders. And nobody should attempt taking us into war. We cannot go to war with Niger at all, at all. It's not the right thing to do. We must pull out of ECOWAS. If it means pulling out of ECOWAS, Nigeria should pull out of ECOWAS. If that is ECOWAS decision. We're a sovereign nation. Nobody can toil with 250 million Nigerians. It's not possible. So I still plead. And it's just I've been watching it. I could have gone to see President Tinibu. I still plead with him not to join the war. He's, he's chairman of ECOWAS, yes. But he also have a role to play to say, I'm not going to go to war. The United States want us to go to war. France want us to go to war. Why don't they put their soldiers and go to war? We'll give them the money to fight. Let them go to war on their own. We cannot go to war. This war is in our backyard. I plead with the president to listen to the voice of reasoning. The Senate have said no. And I'm joining the Senate. I wasn't in the Senate now. I was in the medicals. And uh, I still join 
the majority of Nigerians telling President Tinubu not to go to war for the sake of brotherhood and sake of Africa. Please. I want to plead to the Army General in Niger to release President Buzum to either he goes to President Bongo in Gabon or he goes to Morocco or to Algeria. So I'm fully in support that the immediate dialogue between Nigeria and the military leaders in Niger. I'm appealing directly to the conscience of the military leader that he should quickly release the president and his family and let them leave the country. The Americans are very willing to give them passage to any part of the world. So it is, re it is really good for this general in Niger to quickly reconsider this action. And I'm hoping nobody will come to war against you. It's not going to work. As long as you release the former president and his children and give them a safe passage out of the country. And my advice would be that you plan quickly a transitional uh, program to Semilia Road as soon as possible so that uh, Niger will be restored to civil instead of military rule. I hope it will be wise to play together. In as much we don't want any military attack, we should also do what is right by releasing the former civilian president to have a right of passage into any of the country, please.